here we go. Let's go ahead and try doing these two together. All right, as I mentioned before we started, um, at the beginning of class, this is going to feel very similar to what we just did. Now, uh, I know you guys have been asking the last couple of days, how will this look on the AP exam? The way it's tougher on the AP exam is maybe they take away the figure, all right? So you got to figure out where these functions intersect, all right? Also, a way they make it tougher is they actually won't change it. See how these functions say x equals, right? Both of them say x equals. They're going to give it to you with y equals or with function notation, and you've got to use algebra to rewrite it in terms of x equals. So that's another way they'll make it a little tougher, all right? So if you think back to yesterday, let's first figure out the distance from our axis of revolution to the function that is farther away. So here is the axis of revolution. It says we're revolving around the line x equals negative 9. So that's right here. If I think about going to the farther away function, right, again, it's this area here, right? This is our area we're revolving, right? What is going to be my function that is farther away? The line, all right, the line. So that line is y equals x. But remember, I'm dealing everything in terms of y, so I'm thinking that line is x equals y. So it's going to be negative 9 minus y. So I'll do it again. So it's your line here, negative 9, minus this linear function, which is x equals y. All right, you always subtract your axis of revolution minus whatever that farther away function is. Oh. Let me show you the lowercase. Well, Maybe it'll help your brain. I'll You're good. It, away. Yeah, totally got it. So this is the area. So I always just think, Alan, I just draw, I just take my finger and go. The first one I hit is the closer one. So this curve is going to be the one I'm about to use. But the one that I hit last is the line. That's going to be the farther away. Okay, so here's the closer one. So negative 9 minus, and what is my function that is closer to that axis of revolution. Very good. So notice we are doing with y. That's the parabola. And make sure you put that in parentheses because we do need to distribute that subtraction symbol. All right, so if I clean that up a little bit, what is negative 9 minus a negative 6? Right, because that's really adding 6. That's going to be negative 3. And then what is the opposite, the opposite of y squared? Now I write it like this. Is it okay to write negative three minus y squared? Yes, it is. That's the same thing. I don't care. So if you'd rather leave it as negative three minus y squared, that's fine by me. Okay. Is everybody okay with the setup for the capital R and the lowercase? Yes. All right. So if I want to find the area here, right, the idea is I'm going to do pi big R squared, right? That would imagine if there was no hole in it, minus pi little r squared, that's the area of the, the washer part, the middle part, all right? So I would subtract those, but because I want to try to find the volume, I need to integrate that, right? Integrate that to find the volume. Remember what we did yesterday, what is the constant that they both have? Pi. So that's going to come in front of this. Now let's see if we can find the limits of integration. So zoom in. I mean, I'm zooming in, you can't. But if you put these ordered pairs here, this ordered pair is, is it negative 2, negative 2? And this one is 3, comma 3, I believe. Now, again, this is different than yesterday because I'm doing everything in terms of y. So what are my y values? I know they're the same, but what are my y values? Negative 2 to positive 3. So make sure you're always choosing the y values today, All right? The y values. Yes, the y values. Okay, so let's put our large radius, capital R, don't forget to square it, minus the smaller radius, don't forget to square that one. And then don't forget to put what notation at the end today? DY. DY. Now I know I put brackets, but when I use decimals, I will just be using another set of parentheses. Uh, before I move to the computer, uh, to type it in. Is everyone okay on the setup? Because if you can do the setup, I can teach you how to make sure you hit the right buttons. Is everyone okay on the setup? Okay. I'm hoping you'll feel good about this today because it is almost identical to yesterday. All right, here we go. Remember to type in what to get pi? Di. Oh, by the way, I can't believe I didn't tell you guys this. So my son, my oldest son is eight. 
and he, my next child is my daughter who's six. And we're at the dinner table the other day and he is trying to get her to do, you guys know the joke of like spell I cup, right? Okay, so he's like trying to get Catherine to do this. And I'm like sitting there making dinner thinking like, oh my God, what a, what a parenting moment that I get to observe. And so she says it, she's like, or he says spell hiccup, but do it um, without the H and skip the C. So she's like, and she's six, right? So she's like, I see really thinking you pee and my son dies laughing he's like rolling to the floor and she just looks at me and she's like what do they do they do something and she's like no idea what's going on uh so then, then he has to explain it and then she still is like i feel like she's so much more mature than he is and she's just like that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard anyway okay <laughs> he enjoyed it uh negative two to three i think all right, it was at negative nine minus y, I believe, minus, I think I already forgot. Let's see, is it minus six? No, minus three? Minus three. And then hit dy. All right, so round into the nearest thousands, I get 916.298. 916.298. You gotta go? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Thanks for that, Edwin. <laughs> Any questions on the first one? All right, I'm gonna do one more. We'll go fast and then you guys can start pricing. I know we have a shortened class today, but hopefully you can still have a chance to finish maybe half of these, all right? Some work for the break. All right, so number two. Number two, we are revolving around x equals six. So when I do my farther away one, I'm going to do six minus, and again, take your finger and just drag it across. All right, which one do you hit second? The line again, and it actually is the same line, x equals y, it won't always be that way. So it's six minus y. Notice when it is just x equals y, I'm not doing that extra set of parentheses. Right? But if it's like x equals y plus 4, make sure you put that extra set so you distribute the negative. A few of us missed that. So if you when you get that wrong, you know, I'll go ha ha. Okay. Let's do the lowercase r. 6 minus, what is the one that you hit first? Georgia, you good? Should be the parabola, right? So it's going to be 6 minus 2 minus y squared. You good, Jordan? Okay. All right. Distribute that. What's 6 minus 2? 6 minus 2 is 4. And then what is the opposite of negative y squared? Positive y squared. So it's going to be y squared plus 4. Again, is it okay to write 4 plus y squared? Yes, it is. I don't care your choice. All right. So doing the volume, I have pi times the integral of, let's zoom in here, see if we can find our... Limits of integration. So this is negative two, negative two. This one is one comma one. Now that shouldn't surprise you with the function being, or the line being x equals y. So what are my, um, did I miss a negative there? There you go, sorry about that. What's our limits of integration? Negative two to positive. All right, filling the rest in, my large, r is 6 minus y, don't forget to square that, minus y squared plus 4, don't forget to square that, and then don't forget the dy part. Is the dy just for like the decimals? It's for every, it's the notation, it's the, the dummy variable we put in there to say that this is a derivative and we're backing up to find the antiderivative. But yes, you have to, for the calculator, you need to write dy. All right, let's go to the calculator and type it in. All right, pi int negative 2 to 1. All right, 6 minus y. 
All of that squared? Minus, is it y squared plus four? Yes. Thank you. All right, so 158.336. What's wrong? No. 